Hey everybody, my name is Vijay and welcome to SandTube 3D, your best resource for all things 3D printing related. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Creosum mod for the Cura 4.0. This is probably the most popular mod out there right now that everybody's talking about. So let's jump right into the video. Now before we get started, we have to make sure that our Cura is up to date and the version that we're going to be using is 4.0 so for those of you that don't have the updated version I'm going to put a link down below so we don't waste too much time on how to install Cura 4.0 or how to update your current version of Cura. Alright guys once you've made sure that your Cura is at 4.0 version uh, what we're going to do here is go and add on the mod so to do that you need to come to this website here I will put the link down in the description uh, there's a lot of good useful information on here about the mod if you guys want to read through it There's a lot of pictures and things along that line, uh, but what you need to do is go ahead and click on install and Once you do that It'll bring you to the install page here. There's a few warnings they need to do uh, very important Do not download the zip file from the clone button up top. So don't do that um and like I said earlier, me personally, I don't want to really mess with the 4.1. I know it still has a little bugs in it, so I'm going to stick with the Cura 0.4 or Cura 4. Um, so this is for Windows and PC. All you got to do is go ahead and click on it and uh, download the file. Once that's done, I'll show you how to install it. So we're going to do the Mac install first, and then we'll get to PC. So once you have it downloaded for Mac, you just click on Finder, and then click on your downloads, and you'll see the resource folder here. You're going to go ahead and right click on this and go down to copy resources. Then you're going to click on applications and then when you see Cura right there, right click on that and then you'll see something called show package content. Then click on content, click on resources and then you'll see a resources folder here. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and rename this. Um, I would just put uh, underscore old. The reason we do this is because if something doesn't work out you can delete the new one and then just rename this back to resources like so and then you will be good to go and the cure will be working fine again so now you only want to do is right click hit paste item um, and then it'll download the resources folder for you and it's just that simple guys and then after this we're basically done and once this finishes up we're just gonna open up cure again and then you'll see a little bit of a difference in the main screen when it opens up so all we need to do now is go and open up Cura, and if you did everything correctly, you'll be greeted with this window right here. It'll say Creosum Mod Cura 4.0. Now this is the exact same window that you'll get as far as um, letting you know that it's Creosum Mod for PC and for Apple and Mac. So once Cura opens up, all we have to do is go ahead and add a printer to the Creosum Mod, and we will be ready to go, and I'll show you how to do that once it opens. Alright, now for all my PC users. So once you've already downloaded the file, you need to click on your file folder. You're going to go ahead and go up to your downloads, and that's where you're going to find the create awesome mod folder. Click on it. Don't worry about the Mac. Copy the resources folder here. And then after you do that, close this window down. Then you're going to click on the folder again. Once you do that, you're going to click on this PC. You're basically trying to get to where it says C drive. So once you click on that, you're going to go to program files and from here you're going to locate Ultimaker Cura 4.0 once you do that you'll see that there's a resource folder right there again the very first thing we're going to do is go ahead and rename it just in case this new install does not take we can delete it and restore this one so we're just going to rename it underscore old and once you do that go ahead and just paste it and we're pasting the new um, resources folder that we just downloaded. Go ahead and continue and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, so even though this is Windows 10, I'm in the classic view uh, which makes it easier for me to find folders, but for those of you that are actually using Windows 10 with the new interface, let me show you how to go ahead and find the file um, from there. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is minimize everything and then if you go to the Windows, this is what your Windows 10 looks like. Right click on Cura like so and then you'll see more and once you do that you'll see file open file location click on that and this window will pop up you'll see Cura 4.0 again go ahead and do the same thing right click open file location and you'll notice I'm exactly where I was in the old one because you'll see right there it says resources old and you just paste the new one there and you're good to go 
So once the file is copied, we're just going to go ahead and close it up and open up Cura. So once Cura 4.0 opens, you'll notice everything's exactly the same. You got your printer right there, Creality CR10. So the Creasa mod has not been added, so we need to go ahead and add that. So you go to Ultimaker up there, and then you're going to go to Preference. Once you click on Preference, a screen will pop up. This is the standard screen that pops up when you're adding a normal printer. When you click on Printers here, you'll see that I have the CR10 already installed. But when I go to Add, you'll notice there's a new feature in there called the Creasa mod. So when you click on that, you'll notice all the Creality printers pop up. Sorry guys, this is only for Creality at the moment. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on CR10 and name it Awesome. So I know it's different from my standard one that I have already installed. Or you can change it to Mod, whatever you want. It doesn't matter what name, as long as you remember. Then you go ahead and click on the Add button. And once you do that, you'll notice that a screen will pop up. And this is your normal screen with printer settings. So if you notice the width, length, height's already all in there. Uh, the G code for startup and end is already there. Uh, nozzle sizes, everything's already inputted for you. But now, just a side note for those of you guys that have like auto bed leveling uh, mods attached, uh, this is probably not going to work for you. You'll need to modify the start G code. All right, guys, there you go. Installation for the Creosa mod. I would definitely recommend this for people that are new to the 3D printing community. Um, this is actually a very, very good starting point. Um, you don't get discouraged right off the bat. You get good results. Um, I've tested with this um, profile here and everything worked out great. Now, the only concern I had um, just reading from the forums would be top layer a lot of people were having issues with it even though everything else came out perfect and one of the main reasons for that is because the line width as you can see right here is 0.5 that's a little too high given that your nozzle is only a 0.4 so you might want to adjust that accordingly I'd probably do it under 0.43 or less um, so that's something you can do by testing and printing with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you liked it, great. If you didn't, hey, you know what? It is what it is. Um, if you're in the market for new printers, guys, I'll go ahead and put some links down below with discount codes to save you guys some money. And like always, good luck and happy printing.